You you have like the the Papa Bear bowl. I have the Mama Bear bowl. We're back from the beach and from our little what are we calling this? We call it shopping. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We are on our way to Sam's to do some groceries and then we are headed to the beach. We're just kind of relaxing this afternoon before we start the work weekend. Yeah, this is our first weekend back in Florida, um, which you may already know if you watched our moving vlog from last weekend. We are just still getting settled in, doing laundry, getting groceries, doing that kind of thing. We actually haven't been to the beach yet, so this will be our first time. We've been here for almost a week and we haven't been to the beach. So that's kind of surprising, but there's just been a lot going on. Well, this is basically the, the first day that it's like warm enough to go to the beach. So we're super ready. It's like 75 outside. The wind is like cold right now. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting into the fall season here. But it's cool. Bay. This is like the time of year that the locals like the best because there's no tourists and the beach is really clear. It's been nice being back in Florida because we were here actually earlier this year because my first work rotation was here at Fort Walton and so we were going to the same church and we made um, some friends that we really really just appreciated the community and we're just comfortable like I know like the people that I work with already I know like how to get everywhere we already have some routines down yeah so that's, that's really nice really really nice because obviously we usually want to go to a new place it takes a little while to figure out where we're gonna get groceries uh, like the way to get to work, where we're gonna go to church, like those things. And so this has been a pretty seamless transition back in, which we're super grateful for. We, I feel like we needed that. If we were getting weary of getting to a new place and settling in again. And so I just, I think this was a real blessing for both of us to be able to kind of just seamlessly fold back in and get reconnected and already kind of know the drill. To a large degree. We're also used to moving into place and putting all our stuff up and yeah because we've done it true so we've gotten more times. used to that but it is nice to already kind of know the area already know the location and stuff like that mm -hmm. so basically it just feels good we feel very grateful and blessed to be back because it was an answer to prayer to be able to come back to this area that's right it's something we both wanted after the last place and we prayed about it and i think we prayed about it for about a week and then you were like, well, let me ask my supervisor. Let's see if she, there are any openings in that area. And she said, nope, nothing in Florida. So we were like, and, well, well, that's the normal meeting we have is like, okay, so what are the places you want to go? And she like listed all these other states. And I was like, well, is there anything in Florida? She was like, no. And so then we're like, we'd been praying and hoping that that was an option and it wasn't. We kind of like kept feeling like we wanted to be here. And so the next time I talked to my boss, I asked her if we could just put a request out and see like maybe that, maybe if there was a need for a travel therapist in the area. And it took her a while to get back to me, but when she did, she was like, yes. I asked her if I could be available to do kind of a different job description, which I'd also been praying about just because of some work stuff that's going on with me. And it worked out perfect. So instead of being an outpatient, now I'm in the hospital and we're back in Florida. Yeah. So. So it felt like the Lord was leading us back here, but when, origi when originally we thought there wasn't going to be any openings, we just kind of surrendered I think, to whatever the Lord wanted us to do, and then I felt like he opened the door for us. So obviously we're thrilled, but it has felt like we should be back. Yeah. felt like the Lord laid it on our hearts, and then he was like, well, I understand you might want to do that, but I may need you somewhere else. And then he opened up the door for us to come here. Let me recap. No, it's too long. Let me sum up. <laughs> we already talked about how we feel about travel. We've enjoyed it, and it's been surprising in some ways. And we talked about that in our travel in our travel review vlog. If you haven't seen that, it's like several videos back. Part of the reason we were traveling low was for my work, and uh, so that I would have more opportunities to kind of learn under different people. And after three rotations in outpatient which is very structured and scheduled work-wise, I was feeling like I really wanted to get back into the hospital setting, which I'd worked in before, which was more relaxed. You can spend time with people 
in a more relational way. Mm -hmm. So I was already praying about that and wanting that. And then we also felt like the Lord had laid it on our hearts to be back in Florida through the mission trip that we went on with some people from Florida and mm -hmm. because we just really love the community and the church here. So I made a request and we started praying about it. Mm -hmm. And when I talked to my boss, she was like, no, there's no opportunities in Florida. And so I then mentioned, well, I'm also thinking I'd like to switch out of outpatient physical therapy and into the hospital setting. Is there any way I could look into hospitals in the area? She's like, well, let me get back to you. And then that worked out perfectly. So mm -hmm. God kind of answered both prayers in one. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're back. We kind of got into a little bit of a life update there, but we just wanted to share that because we feel like that's an important step in our journey. It wasn't just like, oh, we think it'll be fun to go back to Florida. And then the door, like... The doors did open, but it took a little bit longer than we thought. It wasn't as clear cut as we thought it would be. So I just wanted to share that and we will bring you guys along on our little shopping trip. There we go. Oh, I almost dropped you. This is covered up. It makes me want to only go to the grocery at like 7 a.m. in the morning. A little bit of a crazy show going on. But we made it. We got our groceries. Got Maybe a little more groceries than we needed to. We got a lot of stuff. We're going home, dropping them off, and then on to the next place. Groceries are all put away and now we are on our way to the beach. So that's exciting. Such a lovely day to visit the beach and we came to Beasley Park which is a park that is free and open to the public. Thankfully this park was not at all crowded today unlike our trip to Sam's earlier in the day which is surprising since it was a weekend so we were grateful for that. We're back from running a few errands and shopping and we actually went to the beach. Yes we did. Eating a little chili that Alan made and we're gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little I guess basically just day in our lives video. 
Um, very chill weekend. We're just kind of settling in, especially after being out of town last weekend traveling. And then a the couple weeks before that, we were just packing and busy, like moving and busy doing lots of things. So this has just been very relaxing. We've basically done almost nothing this weekend. And it's felt good. We just um, wanted to share a little bit of our first week or so in Florida with y'all. Yeah. Guys, we like spending time with y'all so much. It's really hard to end these vlogs. Mm-hmm. Like we don't know what to say. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for following along. And we'll check back in with you next week. Bye. Bye, guys.